In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a reverse VLOOKUP in Google Sheets. So the VLOOKUP function is a great way to speed up your productivity when you need to pull data from another range or another sheet. However, the function can only look up to the right normally, but there are some changes we can actually make to the function to VLOOKUP to the left or reverse VLOOKUP, which is what I'm going to show in this video. So this is going to be the syntax of our reverse VLOOKUP. So the first argument is search key, and this is the same as a normal VLOOKUP. So this is the value that we are searching for. Now, the next argument is going to be different than a normal VLOOKUP. So in this VLOOKUP, I have two ranges inside curly brackets. So in a normal VLOOKUP, you have one range, which contains the entire data range that has both your lookup value and your return value. In the reverse VLOOKUP function, inside curly brackets, we have two ranges. We have our lookup range, which is the range that contains the value that we are searching for, and we have the return range. And this is the range that contains the value that will be returned when the search key is found in the lookup range. So what these curly brackets do is it creates a virtual array. It will put my lookup range in one column and then right next to it in our virtual array, it will put our return range. And that is why the next argument is two because we are returning the second column in our virtual array, which is the return range. So this has to be a two. The last argument of the function is is sorted. And this is an optional argument that's going to be set to true by default this indicates whether the lookup range is sorted or not. And in most cases, this should be set to false. So now that we've gone over the basic syntax, I'm going to show you how to set up this formula. So I have our syntax down here, just so you, we can kind of follow along and make sure everything is entered, entered properly. So in this example, I have this value here, the product, and I'm going to do a reverse VLOOKUP to return the column here to the left of it. So this is my search key. This is gonna be my lookup range um, because this is the range that contains my search key where I am trying to find the matching value. And then when I do find the matching value in this column, we are gonna return the value from our return range, which is to the left. So a normal VLOOKUP is only gonna to work to the right. With this one, we can return a value to the left of our search key. And so here is how this is done. Equals the lookup, and then the first argument is the search key. So I'm searching for this. Now we need to create our virtual array by adding a curly bracket. And so the next argument is our lookup range. So I am looking in this range for my search key, and I'm gonna press F4 now to lock these values in place and then comma. So the next argument is my return range. So this is the range that contains the value that's going to be returned when my search key is found in the lookup range. So that will be this range. And I'm going to again press F4 so that's locked in place. Now I need to add my closing curly bracket, comma, two, false. And I can close out this formula and press enter. And you can see it now returns the value to the left in my return range. And now I can copy and paste this formula down to additional values if you have them in your spreadsheet. And so that is it. To VLOOKUP to the left, you have to create a virtual array where you have two ranges. You have your lookup range, and then you have your return range, and then this is going to be two, because what the virtual array does is it puts your lookup range right next to your return range, and so it returns the second column, which is why this is two. But that is it for this video. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.